I wanted to ask from a perspective of, of getting the most out of Salesforce, what would be your top three to five tips? Yeah. So um, there, there's a lot, um, but if yeah. we're looking top three to five, <laughs> uh, you know, I think first, and I mentioned it before, but document your processes and the technology you're using before you do anything in CRM. Don't even, don't even log in until you have processes documented and your technology outlined and your goals outlined. Um, because you're just going to get lost in the technology. So uh, tip number one, before you even sign a license agreement with a software provider, um, you need to have all that documented. Super important. Um, I think the second thing is your team's adoption and buy-in is just as important or more important than your vision for the software, right? So if I'm a CEO of a manufacturing company and my team has just been using ERP and really is not even using technology for a lot, and I go out and spend all this money on Salesforce, they're not, not going to use it, right? They're, they're not going to understand why it's important. So I need, to, I need them to understand that digital transformation is important, but not only is it important, but here's why. And you need them to understand that you're not creating extra work for them. You're going to make them more efficient and give them more opportunity by rolling this out. And you want their feedback. You want their buy-in. So I think just making sure the team is on board uh, before you go ahead and start spending all this time and money. Now, that's not to say you want the team to have feedback on everything all the time, because that's going to create other challenges as a CEO or as somebody that's going to run or lead this process. You need to define what's going to go into it and not take every piece of feedback and try to incorporate it all. But you need people on the team to know that this is something that they're involved with and and help them understand that it's not just extra work for them, that there's going to be value there. So Getting the team buy-in is, is, a, is a really important tip um, that I'd have for anybody. Um, just a couple other quick ones. So the other is that setting the mindset that if it's not in Salesforce, it didn't happen. This is something we hear all the time. And Salesforce says it, um, you know, it's, it's kind of one of the things that they're telling clients. We tell clients the same thing. I have clients that tell their staff the same thing. You need people to understand that this is now a single source of truth for everything. So if it's not there, I, I, don't, I don't care that you call, you know, Susie Smith yesterday, because I don't know that you did, it's, if it's not in Salesforce, I just want to see it and have it documented. Having you tell me that you did, it doesn't really give me what I need. I can't build a report on what you're telling me, right? So it's, it has to be in Salesforce in order to really document that it happened, whether that's a, a meeting, a call, uh, an email, um, any interaction. Uh, and then last, I would just say, know that this is an iterative process going in, right? Get feedback from the team as you go and iterate and constantly evolve. You're not just going to build the CRM and walk away and say, okay, everything is done for the next 12 months or 16 months. I typically tell my clients, plan, plan two to three months out, right? How do you want to be using this three months from now? Don't think about how you want to use it three years from now. Because if we think about the three-year vision now as we're building it, there's so many things we're going to get wrong, right? If we think about the three-month or the six-month vision, we could probably nail that pretty close and then evolve and then spend more time uh, adopting and, and building on the platform, right? But don't think too far out. Just think of, you know, what do I need to get up and running? What's important for now? That's going to be better than what I had. And then continue to evaluate and get feedback. 